This episode is brought to you by Antennas Direct, makers of the toughest antennas in the universe. Hi, and welcome to the Man Cave Cinema Rant. I'm John Zanettos, and this is episode 61 of the Man Cave Cinema Rant. Now, today, I'm going to talk about something a little bit interesting, okay? But first of all, I have to say that I am confused. Why do you ask? You're saying to yourself, why is this shithead confused? Well, let me tell you one thing, okay? And this is going out to all the home theater Illuminati out there. And when I say home theater Illuminati, I mean the hardcore home theater people that no matter what they do or what they see or what they hook up, everything they do is the best, okay? Now let me ask you this question. For the home theater Illuminati out there, why are you continuing using cable TV for your HD feed? Plain and simple. Why are you doing that? You know it's compressed. You know it's overly compressed because cable companies have no choice but to compress all their HD because A, they're running all the SD channels and the HD stuff down through one little pipe. One tiny little pipe. So they have to do that. So why are you paying for that? Uh, I mean, every time I talk about streaming, people jump all over me that it's not like Blu-ray or you know, high definition or what's it called, uh, ultra high def uh, Blu-ray or whatever, and streaming can never compete with that. But then, why are you using cable? Why? I like to know. I like. I, I don't know. I'm confused. Why are you continuing using cable and paying for that crap where you can put up an antenna and get uncompressed HD of all your local stations? Okay. If you like to watch a lot of stuff on CBS, ABC, NBC. PBS, all that stuff is uncompressed. It's totally uncompressed. It's full. Oh, God, I forget what the broadcast standard is. I think it's 11.5 megabits per second. Don't quote me on that. But compared to cable, where they're compressing it even more. And you will get artifacts. If you look closely enough, there are artifacts on cable versus over the air. So why are you doing that? I mean, if you have enough money to build out a home theater fully complete and then pay for cable and not even hook up an antenna just to see the difference. I mean, I put this challenge out to anybody out there who's watching this, okay? If you can afford cable, then you can afford a price of an antenna. You can have both hooked up to your system at the same time. And tell me, Clearly tell me, without it, without any bullshit, you know, is cable better? Probably not. I don't think so. I've seen it. I've seen it for myself. I know. Over-the-air antenna, or over-the-air using antenna, is just so much better, so much clearer, and it's just bar none the best picture quality you can get for TV. But why using cable? You will go out and spend a ton of money on the best blu-ray player and blu-ray discs but you won't you won't put up a cheap antenna just to check it out don't get it and 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 honestly i'm not sitting here trying to advocate my online store to say you know if you want to get a, get an antenna buy it from me no i don't care where you buy it from i just want people to try it out let me know let me know if it's better and don't give me all this but a babble talk, oh yeah, it's better, but then you continue paying for cable and you're using a lesser quality system. You're just being a hypocrite at that point. Okay? That's the challenge. Let me know what you guys think. Am I completely wrong on my confusion? Or do I have a point here? Anyway, I'm John Zanotos. This is the Man Cave Cinema Rant.